this point, but we'll, we'll try our best. Uh, so I'll start with my first question. It's been a long-standing wisdom in statistical inference and probabilistic reasoning that when the number of parameters of a model gets large enough, you kind of lose your ability to generalize and you start just memorizing data, and we all know that that's no good. That's just too detailed, the bias variance uh, trade-off. But somehow, deep learning seems to have broken through this barrier when we went from regular neural nets to the deep nets. And, and is there an, an, an intuition or understanding today as to why this is working in LLMs with hundreds of billions and now trillions of parameters? Right. Well, the, the fact that it is working, that you can train a ridiculously over, oversized neural net and it will still uh, work reasonably and generalize uh, is, is uh, dumbfounding so much that it contradicts every single thing that has been written in every statistical textbook, that you should never have more parameters than you have training samples, right, if you're fitting a polynomial or something like this. But we knew experimentally, even in the late 80s and early 90s, that uh, you could make those neural nets pretty big, and you know, even if you didn't, didn't have a huge amount of training data, it would still uh, work pretty well. There was just no theoretical explanation. So the theorists told us, you're wrong, you're stupid, um, this cannot possibly work, so I'm not going to believe your results. Uh, and that, that's in part what made it very difficult to get neural nets uh, accepted in the late 90s to um, the 2000s. Um, but it turns out there is a phenomenon that has since been named uh, double descent, which is that uh, if you increase the number of parameters in a model um, for a constant size training set, uh, your training error, of course, is going to go down, right? To zero, probably. Uh, but your test error is go first going to go down, go through a minimum, and then go up. Uh, when you start having parameters, a number of parameters that is commensurate with the number of samples that you have. Okay, so that's when the model starts to be overparameterized. Uh, and it goes up. But here's the thing. If you keep going up, if you keep making the model more complex, the, er the test error will go down. Again, it will go through a maximum and then go down again. That's called the double descent phenomenon nowadays. Um, and it will do this if you regularize the parameters somehow. Um, you don't necessarily need to regularize explicitly because neural nets have some sort of implicit regularization in them. But you see this, this phenomenon. Um, even, even works if you, if you fit a, a polynomial, right? Fit a 10-degree polynomial with, uh, with 11 data points. And you know, you, your fit will be horrible, right? Because the polynomial has to go to every single point and it's going to go wild in between. But if you increase the degree of the polynomial to something like 20 or 30, and you regularize the coefficient, your error goes down again. Your test error goes down again. The, the fitted polynomial goes through every point, but it's less irregular uh, than with just uh, degree 10. So this existed all along. It's just that people didn't realize that uh, it, was, it was a thing, or at least people who were not practitioners of neural nets who had realized this was a thing. But do we have any explanation why this is a thing? Um, so uh, there's a lot of conjectures. There is uh, some theoretical work. Uh, some people claim it's about the dynamics of uh, gradient descent. There is some sort of implicit self-regularization in neural nets that occurs. Um, where, whereby the, the system kind of recruits just the number of virtual parameters that it needs somehow. Uh, some say it's regularization due to a stochastic gradient. So stochastic gradient descent, which is, is noisy, and so uh, perhaps that uh, forces the system to, tr to find robust minima in the uh, objective, in the loss, that uh, generalize better. Um, it's not clear. There's a bunch yeah. of different things. Yeah. Definitely one of the mysteries that keep us interested. Uh, 